Hello guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another technology tutorial. As you can see on my in my Dreamweaver right now, the coloring of the code is broken. So usually if you were editing an HTML document in Dreamweaver, um, the HTML tags would have a different color. The function keyword in JavaScript will have a different color and so on and it's just totally broken. So how do you fix it? Well, I started doing a few things. Um, the number one thing I did was I went into edit preferences and then I went into code coloring and I tried to change to a different document type and then I tried editing the color scheme I tried doing all that and basically nothing helped so the next thing I did was I found my um, code coloring um, XML document and basically this uh, document stores all the t different colors you use for um, different programming languages and I downloaded a totally new one off the internet so if you just google colors.xml you can see that um, there's a whole bunch of places where you can download a whole new color scheme so I went into this website here called www.hongkiat.com and I downloaded a new um, colors.xml file and I stored it um, in this folder here, C drive users, all that in this folder here and I renamed the old one to colors original and this is my new one and then I went back to Dreamweaver, restarted the program, it still didn't work. Uh, the next thing I did was I um, went into this folder here um, which has an XML file called mmdocumenttypes.xml and what this document stores is the type of file uh, and the extensions for that type of file. So for example, HTML files have the extension HTML, HTM, SHTML and I added HTML extension to the part of the document that says JavaScript. So if you look under JavaScript, okay, originally this win file extension, HTML, originally this wasn't there. So I added that. And then I saved it. And then I went back to my algebra.html. It still didn't work. So then I discovered what the problem was and it's simply that I did not have a quotation mark before this UTF hyphen A. So I added that quotation mark in and then all the coloring came back. Okay, so that's what you've got to do. Make sure that you don't have any quotation marks, extra quotation marks somewhere in the document. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.